What's good? You rocking with your boy Zar, All Rights Reserve, and we're back on the topic dealing with the tragic situation of Tentacion. Now, the reason I mention this is for simple reasons. Um, I've recently been sent and shout to commenter Diane Duggar a very intrepid video of Tentacion talking to someone online. We don't know who that person is. But he mentions a very important factor. Now, this important factor he makes, mentions has a lot to do with what we're talking about. He namely says that he wants to get something done for someone, which would be a tattoo. He mentions in his crew, he has a very skilled person in his group, actually. In his group, I, I quote, in quotes. So... Could this person have been speaking awfully about Diedrich D. Williams, which shows he understands what his talents are and he knows him. So could he have known Diedrich D. Williams? This would mean that he was related by knowing, even by association with multiple people that were in it and being accused of what happened to him. Not only that, we see he has a very specific, uh, ideology of Trayvon Newsom as per video that shows him being at attacked allegedly so in this case could he have known everyone that was involved now even if he didn't we now have two key su suspects in it that could have been known and it would link two more people if they knew those two people that were involved with them um, it's all association so could this have been people he knew um, I have photos too. We're going to discuss by Miss M because they do not want their full name out there, Mrs. M. And what she was talking about was she showed me two different photos: one showing the hole everyone's talking about, and then another one. Now, here's my thing. We'll get into those details. But did Tentacion know Diedrich D. Williams? This is very important because. A lot of people were saying he may not have known his attackers. And this gives us a stronger clarification that he wasn't on terms of, let's say, war with any of these men. He wasn't on any battlefield against these men. Could a falling out, of course, have occurred? Or could these still be stronger implicated fall guys because someone knew who he knew? Again, we don't even know who he was talking to online. Who was he talking to online? Trending rap news is where I seen the video. Because again, I don't repost what other YouTubers have up. But this is an individual who I seen Tentacion's uh, conversation. And they got a lot of views off of it, surprisingly, when they don't have subscriber count to match the amount of views they got. Uh, this is very interesting because this leads us down another understanding of some type of issue some delegation to how this could have been possible how was this possible in any situation you know what i mean there's too many factors that are beginning to add up to a situation that we really don't know i mean it's clear that he had some type of knowledge of these people that were around him it's also clear that he definitely had people around him with motive if money was involved these are very meticulous things that will begin to come out as they begin speaking. And they are going to speak because the time they're going to face is tremendous if they do get convicted of these situations under Florida statute of laws, as well as the death penalty, a possibility on the table for the murder of a prominent rapper. We've seen many details implicating the story building the the narrative to these type of things but we never really went through them consciously to decide what situations are effective what is a motive or let's say a primary objective between these situations um as we continue to look at this case this is stuff that's going to be really detrimental to understanding where the narrative's leading where everything's headed to and who's going to be at stake now how many times have we seen individuals who were allegedly involved in a situation um targeted and put out there as basically um a true issue 
to the solution. Uh, why did they target this artist so hardly? Why was he such a point of engagement? What what caused these people to be at Riva Motorsports? How didn't Riva Motorsports notice anything? How isn't there certain types of video that would show if a, a passenger was really with Tintashian? Again, we're just taking the witnesses' claims. Um, also, we'll try and get into another video about the fact that there's another witness that they're not giving any details about. And where was this witness located at? This could be the, what the witness that was missing, that was actually in the car, or this could be another person. We don't know yet. But all details are pointing towards uh, affiliations and associations with other parties that uh, actually helped cause the dramatic change in um, pain to the situation so that affiliated and supplemented the loss of life. And these are different details that are not only going to be looked at, but that are going to be put out there on Front Street to show a level of disrespect, to show a level of um, tremendous, let's say, fault. Because someone's at fault for what happened to him. That's not in question. And question is, who was it? You know, kind of, sort of like that who done it again. And we talked about a lot of these factors around it surrounding, but now we're starting to get a little bit more detailed when we're seeing that not only there could have been prior association, but looking at the photos that allegedly are giving weight to someone else who adhered to the situation that was earlier not implicated. See, the implications are what's going to build the true narrative. Um, people who are around the case, people who are involved in the case, all of these things are going to play a part. So we have to see where it's leading to. But as far as we can see, there's definitely foul hands at play, foul minds at play. Uh, even a situation where we're starting to believe that there could have been other reasoning behind why what happened happened. And I feel very strongly about it, just as a lot of you do. But I'm also very knowledgeable about the surroundings regarding this situations and the people that are being targeted as saying, look, they were involved. They did this. They did that. Now, again, I seen the photo, but I did not see blood. I seen both photos. There's no blood leaking out of the wound. Especially if I used a small caliber weapon, blood would still ooze out of the individual that is done that way so recently. And we've seen when he had the camera on him. See, one was from a photo when the witness had the camera on him right after. Another was from the photo where they're alleging a bullet hole was in his neck. And I do not see any blood. That is what my concern is at this issue at this point. Uh, shout to the commenter, Diane Duggar, for actually finding these photos and also leading me en route to this video of whether or not he knew Diedrich D. Williams. Now, he didn't name him. He said uh, a tattoo artist that also does another famous artist that is from the Florida native area, Broward County area. So what was the association there? Um, how would Tentacion know that he tattoos him unless he said it? Or for a fact, and did he get a co-sign in order for him to say that on live? And whoever he's talking to was live also, because this photo wouldn't have come out as it did if it was not live. There's too many different variables, and there's a lot of different issues that are arising from the perception that's being given to us, from the perception that's being um, directed into the situation, and just the overall perception of what actually happened. We don't have any major details, but we do have things that are important that are starting to add up to a picture. I want to give a shout out to everyone that's continuing to hit that PayPal, to hit the GoFundMe. It all helps for the channel to build as it does. And we're now the goal is 10,000 subscribers. That's what the goal is. I plan to have 10,000 subscribers. My goal is a month. Uh, everyone participate, share the videos, like them, and just continue overall to give energy that is going to supplement growth to the channel. 
the same energy I hand back to my commenters, commenter nation, hashtag it. Um, also, I want to give a shout out to everyone that took their time to not only watch the video, but that's taking their time to look further in the details about the video. All of this helps to depict something much larger than what's handed to us to actually give some type of uh, look error of conclusion to the situation that was investigated so loosely. We're also beginning to get answers and things that I never perceived us gaining. So all of this goes towards making better content in my mind and also allowing me to dictate and articulate what it is that I'm trying to give to the people. Whether they agree or not, we're all agreeing to disagree with our own critical thinking and focus on what's going on in the situation. Um, with this said, I, I can't wait to see other details that come out, um, other thoughts that are given, other um, perspectives that are brought to the scene that differ from that which I already have and that which I know. So. We got to see in the future if he admits to knowing Tentacion, if they had hung out some point in time. And that would also bring into question, why didn't Tentacion re allegedly react to seeing these men in the store? Did they have some type of beef? Was he acting like he didn't know them? What was all that speculation? And I seen that from another commenter. But as we unload these details and we discuss them very uh, verbatim, we're going to begin to formulate a picture that's going to be beneficial to everyone in the situation. So I look forward to discussing this with you guys. I look forward to conversating on the different topics in detail. And you know how I rock. All rights reserved.